crystal bodies, up neurons, and also the neurobial cells. This has been specially prepared for staining the organelles that contain RNA, ribonucleic acid. Name some organelles that contain ribonucleic acid. Yeah? Josh, do you know some organelles that contain RNA? Ribosomes. Very good, ribosomes. So the ribosomes are supposed to be stained by this technique. Now, will you be able to see, look at ribosome under light microscope? No, they're too small, okay? They are really too small. You need electron microscope. But if you stain ribosome cytochemically, then you may be able to see. You may be able to, you know, have a grasp on ribosome. So here we go. I am going to magnify this. It needs further magnification. This has been magnified about 200 times. Now I'd like to magnify about 400 times. <coughs> or maybe more than that, 400, about 800 times. Look. You can see the color even, don't you? What is the color? Purple? Is it? Can you see on the cytoplasm, all over the cytoplasm, the purple granules? These are nothing but rough endoplasmic reticulum. What part of the rough endoplasmic reticulum? The ribosomes. Because ribosomes contain RNA because this preparation, a special, some special reagents have been used to specifically stain RNA, con RNA. So the organelles that contain RNA, they will be stained. So here we know that ribosomes are made of RNA and protein, and so these are, these are missile bodies. And what is this structure? Unstained structure, what is this? The nucleus. Because nucleus is mainly made of DNA, yes? What's this whole structure called? Whole st this, is, this is a neuron. These granules, they represent rough endoplasmic reticulum. And rough endoplasmic reticulum in a neuron is called nissl bodies. You have in your study guide. N-I-S-S-L, nissl. What is that? S R E R. But you, I want you to know the R E R of a neuron as missile bodies, because if you go to the library and look for a slide, you will have on the label missile bodies. Okay. So these are these dots, these granules. But look here, the nucleus did not take the stain, is unstained. We call this type of staining as negative stain. You identify, you can identify nucleus by negative stain. Okay? But inside the nucleus, there is a nucleolus. Why is nucleolus stained? Or why does nucleus, a nucleolus, give a positive staining reaction? Why? Because Nucleolus contains RNA. So whatever organelles that contain RNA are present, they will be stained through this cytochemical technique. 
This is called cytochemistry, okay? Cyto, and the technique is called cytochemical technique, cytochemical staining. <coughs> now, through this staining also, not only will you find the nissel bodies positive staining, or the nucleolus positive staining, or the nucleus negative staining, because nucleus did not take that stain. But also you can, you can identify spe specific region or regions of a neuron, like you can see the axon hilo. Because this is axon. This part of axon is called the initial segment of axon. Now, you can ask a question that why is axon positively stained? Because axon is a part of the cell. Axon contains the cytoplasm. And the cytoplasm that is contained, that is inside the axon, is called axoplasm. This what is meaning rough endoplasmic reticulum. Yeah. And when we'll be done with this, I will go over there on that table and I will explain with the help of a model. Okay? That's so, right. nissel bodies are organelles and these are nothing but rough endoplasmic reticulum. And what's the difference between them and granules? What? There is no granule. Ah, uh, there's no granule in I mean, they look, they appear like granular appearance. Those are ribosomes, those dots. Okay? Now, the axoplasm, meaning the cytoplasm inside the axon, may contain some RNA containing RNA containing structures like ribosomes. Okay? What are ribosomes meant for? Proteins and for protein synthesis. Because ribosomes are sites of protein synthesis. Yeah? And ribosomes are made up. You know there are three types of RNA, you know already. One is called messenger RNA, another is called transfer RNA, another is called ribosomal RNA. Ribosomal RNA and protein make the ribosome. Alright? But ribosome is a very, very small structure. Yeah? It's called submicroscopy, ultrastructure, and that can be resolved only by electron microscope, but by virtue of this chemical, cytochemical staining, you can clearly see the rough endoplasmic reticulum is all over. Because like any other cell, it, it is a live cell. All the life activities are going on. And one of the life activities is to make proteins or protein synthesis. And for protein synthesis, you need ribosomes. Okay? And that's all for this. You don't see that any, uh, a little bit, the dendrite here faintly is positive staining. But you don't see other dendrites. Now I will show you one neuron cell body here. That is also a cell body of a neuron. But here is one. Look at that. Where you see only the cell body. The nissel bodies are so clear. And the nucleus and the nucleus. There is 
no axon, no dendrites. It doesn't mean that the dendrites were absent. Dendrites are there, but did not take the stem. In order for any part of the cell to be stem, that part has to contain RNA. Do you get that? Very well. So how many slides have I shown you? Two? Let us go for the third one. And also the fourth one. Fifth one will take about